the heritage line is missing something. It's, it's one loop, which is fine. This, on the other hand, now has two loops, which joins the main line to return again. So how do we get from before to after? Let's take a look. Saw you standing there, highway broken down. Thought I'd pull over and help you out. Halfway nowhere, what you doing here? In these silent hills all by yourself. I know this feeling. So how do we make this more interesting? But now I've got the standard loop and then it comes off to a platform that goes to a dead end. Yes, I've got the 009 there in the way, but we can deal with that. So the idea is to extend the platform line out and connect it to the main line through a right hand point and a crossing. To do that, as I mentioned, I'm gonna to have to address this 009. That's not the end of the world, I can, I can pull that out. So um, let's try and give that a go. Firstly, we've got to cut the track. That's where the right hand of the cross is going to go, which is great, fits quite nicely. A few clips. Let's take that for those uh, couple of bits of, of track out. Only glued with PVA, so it's quite easy to, to remove. So that's great. A little bit of trimming and shaping just to make sure everything's fine. The magic of video, I fast forwarded a bit and go straight to fitting the point because it really was that simple, not. Um, so that's the right hand medium point. And then of course we have the crossing, which is a, it's, it's a standard um, crossover. So nothing particularly exciting there in terms of difficulty, you know, point motors, apart from trying to get it into the, uh, into the connectors, but there we go, that's finally in. And there goes a train round, just using my Class 92, straight along and across the turnout. So that all works, brilliant. 009 time, not losing it, just gonna put it back a bit and make that circle less to give me space to run the track round on the edge of the platform. What's really important now, of course, is making space for this track to come through and cutting my little tunnel out of the, uh, the riser I've got. So using a knife, front and back, start to chisel bits out. I've used the ruler at the front just to show me the angle that I'm going to use to connect the other end so I cut the right bits out. It's a question of chipping away, chip, chip, chip get rid of all the bits and pieces. Eventually it starts to come out, but you'll see that I've actually got a little bit close to, any second now, the dropper from that piece of track. So um, it's okay, I just managed to sort of shift that around, put a bit of slack on it um, and reposition it slightly. There you go, no big shakes, it's all fine. And there is the tunnel. And here we go, there goes a train round on the track, goes round through the tunnel, across the crossing and to the up line. It carries on round and then it joins the heritage line. Thanks for watching.